Speak now or forever hold your peace. reason to waste any more time. Who's got the rings? The rings? Yeah, you did get the rings, didn't you? Yes, I... I technically was... Yes, of course, I, I got the ring. That's... Right. The rings, thank you. I, I just... I, I didn't know where they were exactly. I couldn't remember where I'd put them. I couldn't remember because you had about 20 bottles of champagne. It looks like it's going to explode. That's not unusual. Which is which? Yours is the big one. The big one. The big one, because I'm the man, yes, right? Because I'm manning up. Man. Right, man. got it. And all you got to do now is repeat after First Officer Crock. Okay. Okay, you can go on. We're ready now. Henry, please place the ring on Vienna's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of my endless love and commitment to you. I give you this ring as a... Symbol? As a symbol. You know what, um... My brother's really nervous, so maybe you could make what he has to say just a little shorter. Right, got it. As a symbol of my endless love. As a symbol of my endless love. And commitment. And commitment. To you. To you. Vienna? It works. It's, it's legit. Repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a symbol of my commitment and endless love for you. Henry, my friend, the time has arrived. Do you take this woman to be your wife? I do. Talk about a cliffhanger. I can't believe it. I thought for sure Barbara would come crashing through that door and end everything. I get the distinct impression that that's what Henry was hoping for. Well, it's not too late. They're not man and wife yet. Vienna, do you take this man to be your husband? I do. Then by the powers vested in me by the World Wide Web... No, wait! I want there to be more to it than, than just a ceremony from the internet. I thought you didn't want the deluxe version. Oh, please, dear God, no. No, what you did was fine, but I wrote my own vows. There's so much I want to say to you. You're single-spaced. So, these are just my notes. I wrote them th down in case I got nervous and I forgot what I wanted to say. How many different ways can you say I'm sorry, fake being pregnant to get you to marry me? Maybe Henry forgave her. He doesn't look too upset. No, he looks insane. I don't say that's just the way he looks. Something's not right. We knew that when we got here. I am overjoyed to be here with you, my love. Getting married with all our friends around us to support us. And I know that some of you may have questions about the path of how Henry and I came to this moment, but I have no doubt about what we're doing. Love isn't always fair, but love really does conquer all. And forgiveness, forgiveness is even more powerful. I have always loved you, Henry. And the fact that you've forgiven me for all my silly, stupid mistakes makes me even love you more. I'm sure she told him, but what is that baby bump all about? I don't know. Maybe she just didn't want to have to explain it to everybody else. I don't know how Henry could be okay with this. There's no way. No way I'd do it. I 
don't know how he could be okay with it either. I love you, Henry. And I'm going to try to be the best wife I can. That's all. I just want you to know how I feel. It's your turn. Vows. I didn't. I didn't write any vows. I mean, we never talked about any vows. No, Nobody... no. But just speak from your heart, Henry. Come on, Henry. You're never lost for words. Uh, yeah, there's always a first time for everything. No, 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 no. This is not that time. This is man up time. Remember, it's man up time. It's man up time. Yeah, yeah. Man up. I, I speak from the heart. The words will come. You're right. What a long, strange trip it's been. It's been very strange. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few, or the one. The heart. The heart, yes, the heart. The heart. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The man up. I, um... We wouldn't have gotten here alone. Somebody else brought us together. Our baby. A little boy or girl who's staying up here with us right now. We're not normal people. We're not conventional people. And, and, and if we were, we never would have found each other. And we would never be here on the verge of wedded bliss. And not just as a husband and wife, but as a family, as a mother and a father and a child. And I promise, I promise... I will spend the rest of my life making our child proud to have me as a father and you proud to have me as a husband. I swear it. That's my vow. I think we're ready now. What God, the galaxies, and marypeople.com have joined together let no man put asunder. Or woman. You feel bad for Barbara, don't you? I now pronounce you husband and wife. You know what comes next. Congratulations for not hyperventilating during your vows. Oh, oh yeah, I came prepared just in case. <laughs> I'm gonna stop looking at the door. I'm not sure that Barbara would show up and stop the wedding. Uh, yeah, I was surprised too. I wonder what happened to her. Oh, for God's sake, why are we still discussing her? We should just be happy she didn't show up. And let's just hope she's gone. Gone where? Can we get some champagne? Really, because this was the most nerve wracking wedding I think I've ever been to, and that includes ours. Was held at gunpoint at our sister's wedding. How could today be any worse? I don't know. I wasn't really listening. Oh. Uh, welcome to married life. Well, pretty much all you do is say yes, dear. So you got to talk to Vienna about not telling Henry the truth? 